it's Friday and it's flowers for the weekend and here we are arrived in October already. Can't believe how the year is flying by but let's make our design. Now look I'm utilizing this edging that I got from a certain um, rather inexpensive shop and I thought it would make a perfect structure in order to hold our flowers in place and therefore not use any foam. So I'm making little spaces within my tray to um, hold the flowers in place and no securing is needed and it all fits in rather well, just squeeze it in. Later this month I will be uh, opening my tour, my brand new tour, Mig and the Beanstalk and um, I'll leave that to your own imagination as to what that might entail. Adding some water, making sure it's in all the little compartments that I've made. But yes, kicking the tour off in Guildford at the Yvonne Arno. And then I should be going on to East Grinstead and Maidenhead, the glamour of the South East, and Colchester and Chichester. I'm particularly looking forward to coming to Chichester. And then the finale being in my hometown here in Deal in December. It's an evening of excitement, ex uh, flowers, and I can't tell you much else. I don't want any spoilers just yet. So let's put in our flowers into our container and sticking with a lovely orange theme, very, very simply, those, that uh, base is holding everything in place, no foam, and um, lovely hypericum, creating a different texture within, and look at these wonderful Xantadesha orchids, and basically making what I like to think of as a sort of hedgerow of flowers in my uh, container, and varying the lengths of everything, putting those in rather nicely bright colours and of course it's a great design that you can have with those bits that are out of the garden. Things that are still in place, we've still got a few dahlias uh, here at Beacon Hill. So putting those in, you could use anything, a really lovely selection of flowers, a little bit of our choice here, where would we be without a little bit of choicier sun dance, always useful for us flower rangers. Putting that in, again adding in a different texture and something else I've got um, are these wonderful pods from the Nigella. I thought that they would be a really lovely addition. Again, varying that texture which we'd so need to do within our floral work and of course adding a new dimension and then these little little gems. A few of the orange roses into the design, taking away the leaves and again making sure that the air, the flowers are on different levels. I've got another Xantadesha, that's going in definitely, without a doubt. So look at that, just a beautiful colour I love how it curves, it's going to curve for us just to one side like that, a little bit more of the hypericum, hello Bertie Dog, and um, popping that in, bringing in those different fruits, and I love a gourd. Our gourds weren't very um, good this year, but um, I managed to pick up these uh, few gourds which I really love, perfect for a windowsill and um, I'm adding a couple more roses and then I think our time will be done. Today here at Beacon Hill we've got another of our floral lunches, very exciting and um, I'm being watched by our guests in amazement, I can see it in their faces, <laughs> absolute sheer amazement with a slight tinge of hunger, when's lunch going to be served? Well that will happen very very shortly. So look, come and see me on tour in Mig and the Beanstalk 
an evening of excitement, fun, and of course, some fabulous flowers, some designs for Christmas, and popping that last rose in, completing our hedgerow using no foam and something very, very simple. So that's all from me for now. Cheerio, and that's flowers for the weekend. Bye-bye. <laughs>